what did you make of uh, what Mr. Saccord had to say? Look, um, the the view of the medical staff is that we want the best hospital in the right place at the right time for the local people. Um, we've been campaigning for this hospital for 10 years now, and I have to say we're, we're a little bit sad um, that it has become a political football. We're, we're very sad that it's been a cause of division in the community. Um, and I, I'm a bit concerned that you know, now we're in, in trying to score points, trying to win arguments, rather than sit down with the facts and make rational and sensible decisions. Um, look, I'm understanding that there's a lot of emotion out there, but um, and sadly there's also been a fair bit of false information um, peddled in the media, particularly the social media. It's becoming sensationalised, and, and rather than make this into a political football, uh, into a referendum. You know, what we would really like is to see cool, calm heads sitting down, um, looking at the facts, um, trying to work out the best place to put the hospital for the community. Do you have a, a preferred site? Um, look, if, if you had asked me this three years ago, the answer is absolutely no. We're just keen getting a site that works for the community. Um, we're now in a position where there has been quite a significant investment in time and, and money in the current site. Um, I, I have seen the process that was went through to choose the current site. More than 30 different sites were examined by uh, the engineers, by the people who, who make these decisions. They, they build hospitals all the time, and, and they, they have come up with this current site. Um, so... With that in mind, um, it would seem sensible just to trust the process. Um, and also, uh, I am concerned about the the fact that we've put two years of, of, of work. Um, you know, the architects have been busy designing, um, and, and there's been a fair bit of money in terms of uh, planning uh, spent in at the current site. So um, that, to me, uh, I, I think is a concern. Um, I think there's a risk. Uh, in changing site that things that the timing will blow out is there uh, any chance that uh, the existing site of the tweed hospital the existing hospital could be redeveloped could be upgraded uh, and that mm -hmm. could take care of uh, the needs of for extra services to service a, a quickly growing community yeah look um that that isn't possible um uh Walt I uh, was absolutely right when he said that. Um, I, I know there are some calls from the community to do that, but actually there was some funding uh, offered in 2014 from, from the government to upgrade the current site, and we spent two years trying to plan to upgrade it. Um, it just simply isn't big enough. So the current site is only four hectares compared to 22 hectares for the um, proposed new site. Um, the... The soil is not, it's right by the river, we can't build upwards, it's simply not big enough, it, it's hemmed in by a lot of other buildings, and and it won't be able to provide the services that are needed for the community. So um, I think the current site is, is the wrong choice, um, and we need to go to a new site. Um, obviously, it, it's disappointing for us that that's now become a, a, a point of contention in the community. Um, you know, the key things are to get the right services for the community and, and to get them as quickly as possible. Dr. Lindley Jones, I'll just keep you on the line here. We do have a caller, Margaret from Tweed Heads, who has a point to make. G'day, Margaret. Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning. Um, I can state factually that many, and I, I'm talking about thousands of people, actually moved to this Tweed location. I live right near the hospital to be near the hospital. And when they talk about hemmed in by all the new developments, they are old age homes. Please have a look. At least three of the developments are for old people. So they were right near the hospital. So whatever happens with the new site, that the existing facility should be dedicated to some kind of health services because all those people, some of them have moved into state. I've seen the transport trucks myself, my neighbour, we moved here to be near the hospital.
Okay, okay. Margaret, thanks for uh, raising that point. Uh, Dr Lindley Jones, what do you make of that? I imagine that's something that you've heard previously. Yeah, look, um, we... Uh, the, the, the medical staff just want to get it right for the community and got no objection to having some health services on the on the old site. Um, it, it isn't possible to build the hospital there, though. Um, we know that, that we can't provide the right services, and, and I, we're hearing what people say, but... But there's no point in having a hospital that isn't sufficient and doesn't provide the right hospital, right services for the people. So, so we have to move to a new site for the hospital. Um, but um, you, you know, there's a community demand for um, services at the old site. That that's fine. There's, there's no problem there. Okay, Dr. Lindley Jones, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you very much. Dr. Mike Lindley-Jones there. He is uh, the chairman of uh, the Tweed Hospital Staff Medical Council.